His name came from him stealing all the kids, and they had baby seats in the back. And he said it was fun. <laughs> These youngest, bro, they crazy. What they do, YouTube? It's Ty Fatty with the Fatty back at y'all with another video, man. I don't know why we here. To handle business, but before we handle that business, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to say it again, bro. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to say it one more. Matter of fact, like, comment, subscribe. Before I got to beat you up, y'all know what's going on, y'all. We got us a good one. We got us one. Hey, shout out Hip Hop Daily because we got us one. Man, this young man been going crazy on TikTok, 20 verse ones. Why are they blending with this stick? Extra bullets in my jumpsuit. I can't wait to let it hit. Man, we got who is Baby Kia. I ain't done no video on this nigga or nothing, but I'm hip to him. I'm, he got a couple little songs that you could be like, feel me? Let's tap in, man. Let's see what we talking about. Baby kid blew up out of nowhere and went viral for rapping like a psycho about murdering people. I'm telling you. But most people have no idea about the crazy real life situation he's talking about in his music. So today, we're breaking the whole thing down. Baby kid came up on the west side of Atlanta and moved around a lot as a kid. Back in the day, he had hoop dreams and just wanted to make it to the NBA. But then he got active in the streets and everything changed. Kia started jacking whips when he was 15 years old and fell in love with it. He was still in cars all the time, enjoy riding around Atlanta, and that's how he got his name too. Kia was known for breaking into cars, and he said that a lot of the cars he stole had baby seats in the back, so everyone started calling him Baby Kia. He came from the cars, like I was doing that shit. I would. Cars. So, you know, I like cars, and at first it was fun too, though. I ain't gonna lie, we were doing some badass shit with them cars, but it was fun. At first I was having fun with the shit. That's where I got the Baby Kia name from. Going crazy, stealing all them kids, have fun. In an interview, Kia said that he tried to get a normal job back in the day, Dang. and nobody hired him, so he had a... <laughs> that bitch said his name came from him stealing all the kids, and they had baby seats in the back. And he said it was fun. <laughs> These youngest, bro, so they crazy, bro. His own lane instead. Kia never even wanted to become a rapper. He was getting money in the streets and never thought about hopping in the booth. But he was in the studio one day with a homie who raps. And they're the ones who make Kia get on the mic for the first time. Kia did a couple of features on his homie's tracks. Then he eventually went in the booth by himself and made his first solo track called Dead Faces. He said he really started taking rap seriously in December 2023 after he got locked up. And it didn't take Kia long to get some major buzz on his name. When he got released, Baby Kia dropped his video for the track BK Back and got a lot of views off the jump. People were shocked at his crazy style where he's screaming bars like duct tape his mouth, cut off his legs, that pussy can't walk to the store. I told his bitch ass, come outside, big boy grenade, blow off the, the door. door. Some people thought Baby Kia was trying to look crazy to get views, but it definitely worked. A week later, he dropped a video for the track Let's Play a Game and went viral again for rapping and looking like the bad guy straight out of a horror movie. The track blew up on TikTok and racked up over a million views on YouTube. And fans started quoting his lines like, Murder on my mind, might kill my bro, feeling like Melly. And I might just put the gun down, kill him slow, use the machete. Three just got dropped, you must ain't heard. 80 shots come out the CA, leave a op face on the curb. Baby Kid was popping off out of nowhere. This young nigga he was crazy. Up so fast, that some people even started calling him an industry plant. What most of them didn't know is that he already released two fully independent projects in 2023 before he ever blew up, though. Kia ended up getting a deal with a label called Artist Partner Group, but that was after he already kicked his career off by himself. Fans are calling this new style of rap, crash out music, and Baby Kia is leading the way. Crash Out Music is basically the Atlanta version of Drill, and rappers are blowing up saying the wildest stuff possible over a beat. The genre's been going viral over the past few months because of TikTok, and Baby Key is one of the main artists popping off. The wave has gotten so much attention that even internet comedian Drewski made a skit where he played a rapper that sounds a lot like Baby Kia. But everyone wants to know if he's really as crazy as he says he is, or if it's all just an act to go viral. Key is getting a lot of buzz for his violent lyrics. But a lot of his fans don't know about the real life situations he's talking about. Kia allegedly reps a crew called FMH, and they got beef with sets like Fo3 and YNS. And on the track BK Back, Kia started taking shots at the ops with bars like Pull up to the lake with Drake, Hop out, Action, Bitch, I'm a little black, We trying to catch Lil Waddy. Lil Waddy allegedly reps Fo3. Kia dissed his homie Deco on the same track and raps Firework, This Ain't That. RPG came automatic. Like, what the fuck they talking about? Deco really ain't talking about shit. That pussy boy Ben had my doc. Then baby kid took the disrespect to another level and dissed a dude named Zion Charles, aka Lil Hot. We just we just did a video on this yesterday. His own men hit him in the head, shooting behind him. 
We just did that video yesterday. Hot with the bar. Dead man, four feet, little boy. I'm still smoking on Lil Hot. Lil Hot was allegedly affiliated with Fo3. And he was killed back in 2022 when he was just 12 years old. Lil Hot wasn't even the target though, according to the police. And it was actually the brother of a dude named Ola Runt that the ops were trying to take out. Ola Runt is allegedly affiliated with the henchmen and 5L crews. And before he got locked up, he was starting to really blow up in the rap game. He even linked up with Gucci Mane, and rumors are going around that he was about to sign the Gucci 1017 label. But then Ola Runt got locked up and has been fighting the case ever since. Playboy Cardi is affiliated with a crew from Atlanta called Homicide. Homicide is known to have a beef with a different crew from his own six, the henchmen. The henchmen are one of the most hated gangs in Atlanta and have problems with other crews affiliated with big rappers like Young Thug and YSL, Lil Baby and 4PF, and 21 Savage and his 4L gang. But their beef with Homicide is the most famous because of the distance between Ola Runt and Playboy Cardi. According to rumors, Ola Runt's homies affiliated with the henchmen crew were responsible for killing Playboy Cardi's homie, Big Sosa. Big Sosa was one of Cardi's closest homies and they were together almost every day, so the death was a major loss to Cardi. After the death, rappers from Homicide started dissing Sosa. Like on Ola Runt's song Zone 6, his homie Tufo Left Eye raps, Front Street, everybody smoking on Sosa, bags in, we gon' sell it like Kroger. So, Cardi dissed them back on the track Stop Breathing and rapped, riding in the tank on 285. On the way to Front Street, who say we ain't outside? Smoking on the henchman, got a nigga fried. I'm hanging with the power rules, hanging with the fives. Then he called Ola Run out by name and said, I got niggas in chain gang on my side. I had the nigga shank Ola for a pot. When Lil Hot got killed, he was rolling with a bunch of shooters who were trying to take out Ola's little brother Cam. Cam got shot to death too though, and Lil Hot just got caught up in the situation and was allegedly shot by one of his homies on accident. A dude named Lil Rodney is allegedly the one who killed Lil Cam and got booked for it, but then the situation got even crazier. A dude named Kevin Thompson, who's allegedly affiliated with the henchman crew, was locked up in the same jail as Lil Rodney, but they were on different cell blocks. Thompson wasn't gonna let that stop her from getting that Lil Rodney though, and he allegedly dug a tunnel through a wall in the jail so he could go into Lil Rodney's cell block and stab him. It's not clear how active Baby Kia is in the streets right now, but he's speaking on some beef that's already getting crazy. Baby Kia has also been beefing with a rapper from the city named Lil Ray. Ray is allegedly affiliated with the set called YC, and on the track West Side Demon, he raps, We walk down, don't shoot at houses. What's up, G Way? I don't want no Beyonce. Come bring me Famous Sally. Famous Sally blew up on TikTok off the track What's up, G Way? And Kia dissed Ray for the name dropping and raps, Niggas crushing on Instagram. What's up, G Way? Lil boy, you gay. Put that shit on Famous Sally. Told them bring me Coil Ray. You could barely chew the food you got. Why put beef on your plate? Lil Ray isn't the only rapper Baby Kia has smoke with. He's also beefing with another dude who's allegedly affiliated with Fo3 named Anti The Menace. And rumors say the drama almost got Baby Kia killed. Anti The Menace is another rapper who makes crash out music. He's from the west side of Atlanta from a hood called Jurassic Park and allegedly affiliated with a group of bloods. It's not clear what started the beef between Anti The Menace and Baby Kia, but there are rumors that the gangs they're both affiliated with had a fallen out after the murder of Lil Cam. After Baby Kia popped off and went viral, a photo of him allegedly recovering from a gunshot started going around on social media. Baby Kia never spoke on the situation, but then Anti The Menace dropped the track My Flow and rapped, We gon' spin your block up in the rape. What the fuck is Baby Kia? All that yelling, pussy nigga, I'll shoot you in your ribs. Then Baby Kia actually <laughs> clapped back on this track, OD crashing and raps. 12 behind me in that caddy with them sticks. I can't go. Whole city fucking with this shit. Even got ops still in my flow. Baby Kia has been throwing a lot of shots, but in an interview, he said that he doesn't really want to hurt anybody. I don't got no, no beef as far as, it, as in I want to hurt somebody. I don't want to hurt nobody. He might have just been saying that for the cameras because cops are watching everything rappers are doing these days. But in the same interview, he said that the real goal was to make it out of the streets. A lot okay. of street rappers are right. booking shows because the people who own the spots don't want them bringing in drama. But Baby Kia started getting shows even outside of Atlanta and performed in Houston. A lot of people clown him for acting crazy and screaming on his tracks. But it's clear that he's got some fans who are rocking with his style. He probably won't ever blow up in the mainstream while he's rapping about cutting people up with machetes and pulling out straps in front of churches though. 
Baby Kia isn't the only dude who's yelling on his tracks and picking up a lot of bugs. Atlanta has a whole wave of underground rappers who are hopping on the mic and just yelling at the ops. Dudes like L5, Anti the Menace, Lil Broad, and other rappers are all kind of doing the same thing. But Baby Kia definitely has the craziest style, and that's probably why he went viral so fast, even though most of them have been in the game longer than him. Atlanta isn't even the first drill wave to have street dudes screaming about their ops, though. A lot of fans are comparing the whole scene to Bronx Drill. Drill rappers from the Bronx like Shy E.K., Kenzo Bala, Shy G's, and way more have been yelling about the trenches and ops over drill beats for a while. And some people say that Baby Kia and the rest of the drill rappers in Atlanta are just putting their own spin on it. Rap isn't the only thing Baby Kia wants to get into, though. He was always into jacking cars and driving fast, and now Kia's trying to do it more legit. He said he wants to get into drag racing and start doing car shows, too. Hopefully, Baby Kia keeps up the momentum and makes it out of the streets. Atlanta is a wild city where well, dudes will dig a tunnel through a jail just to stab an op. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Watching this video, I was like, I was a little quiet, bro, because like I said, like, I ain't nobody really done no video on, on BK before. I, I didn't listen to him. I just seen him on TikTok. Oh, I got some songs downloaded. Shit kind of cool to me. Feel me? I got to be in the mood, but if I feel like listening to that shit, I could definitely listen to that shit. Y'all got to get me hip to, like, the Atlanta beef and, like, video, like, YouTube channels that cover this Atlanta shit. Like, you know how, feel me? Like, we got New York niggas that cover New York shit. We got, even where I'm from, Maryland, we got niggas who cover D.C., Maryland beef. Y'all got to get me hip, bro. We got niggas in Cali that cover. I need somebody that's in Atlanta that's watching this video to link somebody down below in the comments. My Instagram is Tafetti underscore. It's at the top. Just DM me something to watch. Like, I didn't know this nigga was beefing with. I knew he was beefing with Anti just on some. They too, they kind of lit right now. I didn't know. I don't know who know the other niggas was, bro. And I want to know. So with that being said, man, let me know, man. Y'all got to get me hip, bro. Y'all know I listen to y'all. Y'all know I. This for y'all. You with me? I give y'all what y'all want to see. Straight up. Y'all recommend something, I'm going to do it. That's how I go. With that being said, man, it's Ty Fatty with the Fatty. Make sure y'all stay smart, bro. Stay dangerous. And I'm going to catch y'all next time, man. I'm gone.